in today's video session we will see how to prepare the sales dashboard so i have this kind of input sales data for a particular company and by using this sales data i just simply create the sales dashboard and if i click anywhere like in jan month the data will getting updated if i click on august month september month if you see here data will getting as per our requirement like as per a month selected so you can also prepare this kind of chart so i'm currently clear this filter so i have this sales data containing the order date this data column contain the date from like january month to the december right this data is for the 2023 and then the second column contain the regions so the three regions available west central and the east then this C column contain the sales representative. Then fourth column contain the items. There are total five item category. Then it's unit, sales unit. Then unit per cost, like per unit cost in the F column. And the last column contain the total amount, the sales amount, right? So by using all this data, we just simply prepare this sales dashboard. It's really easy to prepare the sales dashboard we can see here data like month wise data uh, for month Jan to December. Then the sales done by the sales representative. Here you can see in the entire year. Then sales by the item category for the entire year. Right? And here the sales by the region through this pie chart. So today we will see how we can create this easy chart and let's make let's create this sales dashboard together so as i mentioned we have this source data so by using this source data we're gonna create a sales dashboard so very first step that we're gonna create a pivot table so first you just click anywhere over here and just click on the insert here where is option available pivot table so select this from table range so it's automatically selected the entire range and just choose the new worksheet and click on OK. So here, new sheet got created and the table also created, but we need to select the particular values. So first, we're going to create total four table, region wise, then sales report wise, item wise and the month wise, right? So let's start. So first value we will take as a region. So here I'm selecting the region and I'll add into the rows field. Then we'll take the total amount over here, right? So one pivot table got created. Just do right click, number format, go to the number and use the separator. Okay. Now just simply Copy this pivot table, paste it over here. And what you have to do now, you, instead of region, we'll select the item category. So here I'll put item, right? So again, just select control C, control V. Now here, instead of item, you just need to select the sales representative. So here I'm taking the sales representative, right? Now the three pivot table got created. Again, just select it, control C, control V. And now you just need to uh, take the month. So here it's option available like order date. If I select it, you can see the month wise data available. But if, if like we click on this plus sign, the data available like this, but we don't want like, uh, you know, day wise. So what we'll, do, what we'll do, we'll simply just take here like only month, order date not required. So I'll just take the month, right? So now we got the data month wise, right? So now the very first thing, sorry, second thing, we just need to uh, give the name of this pure table. 
go to the pivot table analyze there is an option available pivot table table name so here i'll give as a region second second name i'll give as a item category then for third pivot table i'll give as a sales representative and the last one is month so now <clears throat> this table got prepared now what we'll do we'll just go to the insert tab and here we'll select the first pie chart so i'll take this pie chart and here this uh, field not required so just i'm hiding this field buttons from the chart then i'm just adding the data labels and here i'll remove this title i'll re rename as a sales by region right and i'll just simply copy this sorry control s cut this and paste over here sales by region right so now the second second i'll take another chart i'll take this or uh, this 2d chart and now again this data field i'm sorry this uh, field buttons not required so i'm just removing it then legend also not required grid lines also not required so just remove the grid lines then this also not required i'm deleting it and just simply add the data label right so the name of this chart i'll rename as a sales by item category right so you just move a little bit here and now you just simply cut from here control x and paste over the new sheet so i'll paste over here then after this the third pivot table again we'll do the same procedure like click over here take this uh, 2d bar chart and now this data field is not required so i'm just hiding it data table legend not required grid lines also not required so i'm deleting it this is also not required and only I'm adding the data labels over here and here I'm renaming this chart as a sales by cell representative, right? So simply I'm cut this control X and control V, right? So third pivot table chart we have already prepared over here now the very important thing we're gonna prepare the chart for this month wise like at the end of uh end of the dashboard like after completing the dashboard preparation so here now i'm going to add so just click anywhere like i'm clicking over here just go to insert and slicer have option available you just need to click on it right so this pop-up will occur so i select the month and okay so i'm just clicking here now what happened this slicer is connected with only this chart let me adjust it first we will make its size as a sorry column three so the slicer is now
you can see here the buttons is available which is not required so what i'll do i'll hide this button or remove this button so go to the slicer go to the slicer setting and hide the items with no data so just click on it and this is gone right so this is slicer if i'll click anywhere the data will be varying right for this chart august september so now what we'll do will we'll be connect all this uh, chart with this slicer so first go to the slicer report connection and here i'll just click on this sales representative and the region right and click ok so now these two also get connected with this slicer so i'll click on this jan all the data getting updated accordingly like we can able to see the data sales data month wise right so just click over here and remove the filter right so this three chart we have prepared we'll do some little bit adjustment because we have to add one more chart over here let me resize it again so the last chart is this one so just go to the insert again same procedure so here i'm adding the second like 2d bar and the same procedure like data fields not required so just i'm hiding it legend also not required i'm adding grid line so just remove the grid line and this is also not required i'll keep as it is and just adding the data table sorry data labels and here rename this title as a month wise sale month wise sales right so just simply control x and i'll keep over here so now the last chart also got prepared So it's done. And now, uh, what we have to do, just a little bit editing we have to do to make, to see this dashboard a little bit uh, understandable. So I'll simply just do this formatting, like just select any chart. Select this one, says by item category, just to bold, italic, and color you can change as any. So I'll select the red color. So just simply double click on the format painter. Do for this, do for this, and this. Now select this and do the bold and do for the same for this. So select this again, do format painter, do for this, do for this, and do for this. Now just do the escape and now select this one. Do format painter for this, for this again, and for this again. Right? Escape. Now you can change the color of this chart. So let's say, for example, I'm selecting this chart and go to the design and here the change color option available. I'll select this color, this one. For this, you can change any color. I'll take this one. For this, I'll take another color. So we'll take uh, blue as it is. For this, you can keep as it is. So here, 
again this uh just to format format painter same for this right so now color has been changed for the color these charts so slicer also you can select uh like like this like as per your requirement so i'll keep as a green all right so also these grid lines you can go to the views remove this grid line and now the chart will be look like so if you click anywhere here the data getting updated right see so i'm just removing this filter and you can see the entire year data so one more thing about this we'll do this reverse order like go to the format axis here this option available categories in the reverse order i'll select this and close it so the now we can see the jan at the first level so in this way you can prepare a dashboard i hope guys this video you really like if you like this video do like for my channel and subscribe thank you for watching